Are you talking to me? You talking to me? You talking to me? Keep it. Wait, wait. wait I'll do. Keep a PMA. Keep a BSJ. Keep a PMA. Keep a BSJ. You got me some shit pizza. No, I didn't. It's just a pepperoni pizza, with an egg on it. Why the fuck does it have an egg on it? <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm sure it's fine. I actually don't mind an egg. I've just never had an egg on a pizza before. <laughs> Without further ado, so real quick, we're going to, just a reminder, we're going to do five Liquid Plus points, three signed artworks right now, or five, we'll do five, we'll do five, we'll do five signed artworks, and we're going to do one BSJ jersey. So one through five winners are going to be Liquid Plus points. Six through ten winners are going to be signed artwork prints. Little and I'll make sure I count up to the 11th winner will be a signed BSJ jersey right now. Banana slam giant. So it's just a limited time little artwork thing. Signed by me. Congratulations. This is nine, correct? Okay. And we got one more artwork winner. And that'll be Nenichi. Congratulations, sir, for winning. But the last winner will be... Who wins a BSJ signed jersey? Budmond. Wow, I actually recognize that name. I know that name as well. Congratulations, Budmond. You did win the, the bigger prize of right now. Don't fret if you did not win, guys. And we'll be giving away more artwork pieces, more liquid plus points, and also a juggernaut bundle on top of that. The juggernaut bundle will be worth 80 bucks. So we got our cast on the way. This is semifinal number one. Let's see what kind of names we got here. We got Grace Jam on the Ursa. My boy starting with an Orb of Venom looking to be aggressive at the start of the landing phase. Laning with him is K-Lips. You know, I'm not going to tell people these MMRs because that's going to spoil it for you guys. They are approximately even distributed. Uh, He's five position Oracle K-Lips. We got New Chill Lala on the tiny walking around with some boots with no health regen. Okay, okay. We got Tawa. Three position Mars with the wind lace against the Monkey King carry. So he's looking to be evasive. We got Lena Mid, Bald Sigma, rarest male type. I believe that is true. I believe he's a Mason follower. We have Powerhouse on the five position Nature's Prophet. Honestly, didn't expect to see a five position Nature's Prophet in my viewer tournament, Liquid Plus tournament. We got Noob on the safe lane, Monkey King. We got Ronald Dog, Ronald McDonald. On the mid lane, TA. Going to get himself a Big Mac if he wins this whole thing. We got General Disdain on the four position Disruptor. Has some clarities in the backpack for later. Storing him for the winter. We got XV doing the creep aggro trick that we taught you guys in our video. Follow. He didn't do it. No, you got to follow through. He's trying. Is he trying? Oh, he didn't drag to the range. He tried, guys. Props to him for trying to follow the BSJ PMA way. You know, if the viewers are watching, please do not be stream cheating. I will say this right now, though. You better be spamming Keep It PMA, Keep It BSJ if you have it. If you don't have it, you're kicked from the tournament. General Disdain. You sick mother effers. You four position players that snipe couriers. You guys need to all go get a life, okay? As a carry player, I don't like it. Noob, getting caught. Uses the Boundless Strike before getting any Jingu procs. Actually survives, though. Does he have a Sal for him? My man, Powerhouse. This guy means business. If he didn't have a Sal, he'd actually be done for. So that's a really important salve there. I believe the average MMR of these teams looked like it was about around Ancient. So pretty high MMR. I mean, if you're a BSJ viewer, you're at least Herald. So it's pretty high MMR average tournament. The server was decided by whatever the majority of the players in the lobby voted for. That was the decision. So if you guys are saying there's EU bias, can you guys please make up your mind if I'm biased towards EU or NA or against NA or against EU cause I, or against SCA? I don't actually know at this point. I really don't know. Just just let me know whichever one it is because I need to know what I'm biased towards. Keep it close. The top lane, maybe we see a gank coming in. So now he does show in lane when the Lena was missing with a rune. Noob, when the shoe fits, my friend, when, or if the shoe, oh my god, bottom lane, Undying gets gone on, perfect camera work coming up from BSJ, there we go, powerhouse, thank you, thank you, dude, perfect camera work coming out from your boy BSJ here, guys, 
Tawa with the Rotato. You've already used that one, BSJ. I'm sorry, guys. No ulti on General Disdain. And it's a four-man gank. Nice save from Calypse. And Ronald McDonald does drop. No fries for you today, my friend. Mars is also going for the first item halberd. So I don't know where he thinks the mana is going to come from. Maybe out of his ass. But as far as I know, mana is hard to come by on Mars. And he's now going an item that costs a lot of mana. So I think he's going to have some serious mana issues. I can understand why he wants the halberd against the TA as well as the Monkey King. But I think it's a bit of a mistake. Okay, mid-tower being sieged as I tab back into the game. Ronald McDonald does have his Invis rune popped, ready to go. Grace Jam maybe getting ready for some Space Jam up in the Hizam. Gets glimpsed, kind of trapped by his own kinetic field the opposite way. Glimpse into the minus armor, plus the Jingu stacks. Tombstone, I don't know if you guys want to fight into this. New Chalala... Just letting you know, bro, they do have a Desolator TA, and this ability gives you 12 armor. I would highly recommend leveling this ability. I understand a lot of support tinies go for the maxed out combo, but my friend, you have zero armor. Just for the record, guys, you need to think about your talents. So there are several talents, I mean, probably like 25 or more, in the Dota game that are Age of Bait. And this is what I mean by Age of Bait. So, if you look at the 30 sun Thunderstrike damage, actually no, this is a perfect example. If we look at the 3 second Kinetic Field cooldown talent, if you look at every level that you put into Kinetic Field, it reduces the cooldown by 3 seconds. And it also increases the duration. So leveling your talent is strictly worse than leveling a point in kinetic field. So with talents such as these, if you intend to take it, you would want to max out kinetic field by like level 13, 14, and then take the talent at the next level. So just BSJ, PMA, making the community better one step at a time, boys. Pay attention to the talents you're leveling, boys. Same thing with this boundless strike, for instance, you know? I mean, it's not quite the same, but you get the idea. Ronald McDonald does have Aegis for 2 minutes and 27 seconds approximately. Did take the level 1520 side blade range talent. And Space Jam, Grace Jam. Defusal is done on the Ursa. Working on a BKB. Honestly, a pretty bad BKB game. But you kind of have to build it against Disruptor. As he does get meld striked by Ronald McDonald, he is forced to... Jump away, but he is most likely going to be dropping here as the last hit most likely barely finishes him off as he had absolutely no way to stay alive there. Nothing he could have done about it. Unfortunate. Tower does get the two-man arena onto the Aegis TA. Gets saved by the Oracle last second. Avalanche onto two. Nilchalala did level his ulti. He's stream sniping. Report this guy. Tower, will he get glimpsed? General Disdain's looking. He has vision, but he doesn't need to use it, it appears. Radiant is literally crumbling as Bald Sigma doing a BSJ play where he's not sure if he's supposed to show up to the fight, decides to show up late to the fight after his entire team is dead, and then proceed to feed himself. We do call that the patented BSJ. If you are an avid BSJ viewer, you are fully aware that that is a signature move of the channel, so we can definitely tell this guy is a dedicated and loyal viewer of the channel. Thank you, Bald Sigma Male. We appreciate you. Ronald McDonald does still have... Oh, he did lose the Aegis, actually. Up by 6k suddenly. Dire team, 15 to 8. 21 minutes and 40 seconds in. Noob channeling the ulti after the fortification. I think that might be a little preemptive since the Mars was still dead. But I understand what he's going for. Absolutely no way they can go in until the ultimate is out, but it is already out. As Nuchalala gets, oh, Grace Jam gets forced in by General, oh no, that's the four staff from the core undying. That's what it's all about, baby. I like those plays. I like those on the head on a swivel. Head on a swivel, baby. Meanwhile, Powerhouse pushing lanes. Also an avid VHA viewer. The best part about showing up to fights late and then feeding is usually you're late because you're stuck pushing lanes. So it really is this process. Learn how to push lanes 
and then after you've shown up to the late team fight late, because that's not what we preach in this in this ch channel, you feed. As he nice blind, I'd say it was like a pseudo blind stun. He like knew he was there because he jumped on the trees, but it wasn't sure exactly what tree he jumped on. But pretty high play by Bald Sigma Male there. The only people that we rip off in this channel are other streamers that we're copying for content, such as Game Leap, uh, Gork, Mason, uh, Lukey Lukey. I have also studied uh, Jubei. As we get a ulti onto Grace Jam, but he's going to live because of the ultimate from the Oracle. Three-man arena, gonna zoom out here, having to cast with one hand because I've got pizza in the other. As Long Fight seems to be going in favor of the Dire, they are up by 7k, Sigma Male is going to go down. As I'm gonna move the camera, really hard to cast with one hand is what I'm realizing here, people. Mmm. Gotta get that crunch. As we see a high ground siege by Ronald McDonald leading the charge. Noob, no BKB for 22 seconds. Please let me finish this pizza, guys. Can you stop being so action-packed and exciting? I'm loving this so much. I know you guys are too, but I want to eat the pizza. Radiant, if you're listening, back off, wait for Mars Arena, and smoke. BSA, we're starting to sense a little bit of bias from you here. No, no, no. It's just trying to make the game more interesting. To Avalanche Toscon over to Ronald McDonald. But he is forced to immediately BKB. Has Blink available in one second. Dust from General Disdain just in case the Lena was Shadow Bladed and chasing. I like the little bit of precaution there. Insurance policy. They do have the trap available in the Roche pit. That's going to tell them that the second Roche is up and ready to go down, baby. <gasps> Noob jumping into the pit. As I'm going to finish this slice of pizza. Tawa might be in some trouble. Make it double. Because there's now two heroes ganking him. Sick somehow missing the body block with nine and a half treants there. Oh my. Oh, the so Oh. Pause on him. Pause on his ass. That's a pause. That The only thing you can do there is pause. Really nice play from Ronald McDonald. This guy's good. Blinking into the tier fours. Silver Edge from Bald Sigma. Nucho Lala. Okay, Ronald McDonald getting a little bit over eager there. Noob getting bursted by the Ursa. He has BKB, but he just. So, my coaching lesson from this game for our Ursa player is when you have items that keep you alive, I recommend pressing them. Now, I know that sounds a bit toxic. And that's because it is. Now let's proceed to watch the game. They land the stun perfectly on the respawn. No BKB for 44 seconds. Will Ronald McDonald be going down for the first time? Can we get some ketchup on those fries, baby? No, we cannot. As Powerhouse actually being a solid distraction, allowing Ronald McDonald to disengage and re-engage. Glimpse onto Space Jam as he does go down. Tiny has a tough time blinking into the Undying Tombstone. Arena is available, gets it off. Will he finally drop on the TA? Yes! They get him down for 95 seconds. That is 980 gold going towards Tawa. Somehow still alive. Bald Sigma gets the last hit on the Monkey King, who I feel like could have jumped to a tree at some point there, as I don't think he was taking any damage, but I could be wrong because my camera work was so bad I didn't actually see as XV... I think they also call this guy 15, Roman 15. My man! My fucking man! Let's fucking go, baby! That's what I'm talking about. Finish that fucking Ag Scepter. Carry the, uh, carry, carry the shit out of these guys throwing the game. Let's fucking go, General Disdain. We're putting that in the highlight reel. Clip it and ship it 28 minutes and 30 seconds into the game. Or stream. Two hours. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Mark that down, Strider. My man. My man. You know you do now, man. Just make sure you truly understand. You ping your cooldown and you go farm and say, Hey team, I'll come help when my ulti is available. Smoked up from Space Jam, Grace Jam, catching the support. Nature's Prophet does have a Glimmer Cape. Absolutely no detection. Neutral Lala, if you're listening, I recommend a different neutral item than Tumblr's toy. Unless it's just your favorite thing, which I, rec I, I respect because it is a cool item. Tower, He's looking. Spear, but he gets glimpsed. 
Noob is pushing lanes. I respect this approach to Dota. I did not notice that they got a two lanes of racks. I thought they only had one. So Dire, pretty significant advantage in that front. Oh, break onto the Nature's Prophet who gets caught out of position. Buyback from Undying. Are they going to manage to get this Roshan? There is a free Ag Scepter in there for the Ursa. That's pretty big. Avalanche Toss Combo from Chillala using the Tumbler's Toy 38 minutes in. Did he get the Ags? He did. Ronald McDonald steals the Ags but does not get the Aegis, so he could be going down here. He accidentally used the Psionic Projection, I believe, as he may not fully realize he has the Ags. Maybe he does? I'm not sure. He does. He swapped the Treads back in knowing that he had the slot. Space Jam, Grace Jam. Has that extra slot available as well. Wanted to take the Ags for himself. No Disruptor ulti available. No... He has BKB. Null Strike. Oh my god, he had no mana. Oh! Oh my god, they had enough damage. Powerhouse, honestly, MVP of the game. Keeping the morale of Team Dire at its highest. Take that, minimum wage, says Ronald McDonald. And the winners are the Dire squad. I believe that is Team 13. It might be Team 16. I actually don't know which team is which. Congratulations to you guys. You will be one of the two teams in the finals. Hey guys, Hello, congratulations <laughs> on making it to the finals. Now my question for you is, you you know, you have the OG draft here. Do we have a Morphling Specialist? Uh, somewhat. Somewhat, that's what I like to hear. That's the confidence. Are you guys going to be swapping up the roles at all? Nope, probably no. not. <laughs> Jenkins uh, said he had to take a big poo and he left okay. and then he never came back. So uh, thank thank Jenkins, God, okay. That, that's Jenkins classic time. Jenkins. <laughs> yes, yes. Now, Team 16, that is your official what? title. So tell me Where how excited, have... scale of 1 to 10, you guys are about getting the VP draft out of the two. Uh, one. Hey, we one, were one, two, less than two and a half. No, none of us can play any of the heroes. We, we, <laughs> like the, we like the OG draft better, but we're going to adapt. So what I hear is that you guys are going to win. That's what I'm yeah, exactly. Yeah, sure. Okay. Absolutely. Absolutely. Ronald and it's going to be coming through. I'm just letting you guys know that the other team also said they were going to win, so somebody here is lying to me, and we're just going to have to find out. And these two teams are required to play the lineups that were in that game. So this is OG versus VP. Game one of the group stage, replayed by the BSJ community. So in the original game, Virtus Pro, the Dire Squad, with the carry Dawnbreaker was ahead by a pretty large margin and ended up losing their lead and inevitably lost the game to this Radiant OG draft. But that's what Dota is all about and enjoying the fun of spending time with fellow members of the community in this game that we all love together. So we have a Darkseer, what appears to be a position four crit style so they've mixed it up a little bit core bounty hunter as opposed to the support bounty hunter i told them that comfort zone preferences they were totally allowed to change up the roles a few moments later hmm. how would i help these guys the issue is is that your bounty hunter is showing in lanes and we need you guys to do something so i'm going to tune into their chat for a second and see exactly what they're talking about because i wanted to get them all on the same pitch Oh, this morphling is impossible to kick out of the safe lane, I think. Yeah, I, I just, yeah. that's the thing. I don't know how we're going to deal with morphling. Now I... we're going to deal with him. With my orchid, I think. <laughs> so you guys have orchids on storm. You guys should yeah. have a, you guys should have some dust. Group up right now. Yeah, he's gonna, he missed his ult. Oh well. <laughs> No way this guy survived. Oh, uh, he's, he's no. He's definitely going to survive. What a shame. Kill, kill, some, oh. kill someone else. It'll bounce to the track oh. targets. It didn't do enough damage. Oh, well. So it seems like they got a little bit of a short short straw here on the drafts. They clearly don't know their heroes very well, which is fine. It looks like they're actually setting something up top here. General Disdain is ready with the vacuum wall on to Sand King. Noob walked through a century. Oh my god, they already have Lotus Orb. Oh no. Oh no. Is it going to be the 420 Blaze It? 
Oh no. Oh no. What's he doing? What's he doing? What's going on here? <laughs> okay. Game's looking pretty grim. I don't think I can make this exciting at all. We had the few comeback plays that we tried to help him with, the Ancients, as well as the Roche. It just didn't quite work out. I've never seen this line before. We are keeping a PMA, keep a PSJ powerhouse. I'm sorry that you got dealt the cards of a hero you've never played before. Maybe this will motivate you to play a little bit of IO. Or scar you for life, kind of like when you throw a dog in the pool for the first time and not giving them a chance to think about swimming, and then they never want to go in a pool again. So I'll first go to the losers. I mean, the second place runner-up. The AA? Oh, oh damn it. Oh, I damn. appreciate you guys Did playing you it out. Played. We tried. Sorry you guys got the short straw with the lineups. I hope you guys at least had a little bit of fun, despite the fact that that... Yeah, uh, we, yeah, we had a yeah, lot of fun. Every, every game before this was super fun. So nice. Yeah. Yeah. All of the games before this were incredibly epic. Yeah, winning winning games is fun and losing tends to not be so. And playing is <laughs> like, <laughs> losing like I this got is to play my favorite hero, so it's it's a lot of that. <laughs> but it's it, it this was good. I feel like it should be like we should suggest they do like least played maybe for the last game. So then everyone is on. Okay, I'll keep, yeah, if you guys, honestly, uh, the Discord that you guys uh, are in the tournament for, uh, feel free to put any comments about, like, things you think could have been better, because we'd love to do it. Uh, congratulations on second place, guys. Uh, thanks for participating, and uh, feel free to watch the game back. Thank I, tried you. To give, I tried to give some general tips. Yeah, yeah we're really thankful. I'm we're glad I got to meet you, BSA. I never thought this was going to happen. I just woke up uh, today randomly, and now I'm, I'm talking to you and playing this amazing games. It's... It's a really cool experience. Thanks for uh, spamming say, my voice I, line, by the way. Oh, go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Sorry. I was totally right with that four staff on Undying. <laughs> okay. I will... Uh, I can't argue with results. I exactly. Uh, <laughs> it's yeah. It's really dumb. <laughs> Do you like my Nature's Prophet VSA on the game before? I did. I did. And my TA was shining before. I was just showing the deadline VSA. I was doing... I was... <laughs> I was showing all of the lanes that my course were not showing. I was doing uh, the best support job. No, I liked it a lot, honestly. I was, I was giving you props on your utility support in Nature's Profit. So I liked it. Thank you. In general Did disdain, you... I'll give a shout out to the, the ulting of the of the neutral camp. <laughs> that, that's, def that's definitely, on the, that's definitely <laughs> on the highlight reel. Uh, I did want to congratulate you guys uh, for getting first place in the tournament. Did you guys have a good time, though? Yeah, we yeah, did. It was really yeah. Cool. after the that's teams right, got yeah. rolling, after the reshuffle, then it was fine. Yeah, sorry about the little bit of hiccup there. It's cloudy. Didn't you win my other tournament? Uh, yeah, I actually was in the group coaching session. I did won the tournament, but I was in the group coaching session a couple of months oh, back. Oh, that's what it was. I was like, I recognize yeah. you. You're in my Discord again. What the hell? You following me around or what? <laughs> uh, I am. I am actually am. <laughs> <laughs> did you guys? Uh, I mean, I you don't have to you don't have to tell me yes because this the whole point is to get this approved. Did you guys like the whole liquid plus thing? Like, did you like how you entered it and the the whole yeah, process? Yeah, I do. Okay. I mean, I got some rewards on other games apart from Dota because like the points were uh, not available any rewards on Dota before, so oh. I got my Rocket League stuff. But then now you came in and. Uh, Dota is coming, so it's good. Nice. Okay. Yeah, you have to hit up Monkeys Forever. He plays Rocket League. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but no, uh, congratulations, guys. Uh, I really, I really do appreciate all the support and everything. And I'll, um, I, I think you guys will be getting all your prizes through through Liquid and the guys that are coordinating with you. But um, I'll make sure I get to you guys. If there's any issues, just let me know on Discord, alright? But okay, guys. I'll see you guys later. Thanks for playing. Yeah. Have, Have a good night. night. Thanks, you. Thank you, good sir. Night. Have a good night. Smash it tomorrow. Thank you. See you guys. I like inherently waved as I said goodbye because I'm used to say like waving to you, you guys, uh, when I say goodbye. Uh, we will be doing more giveaways. More, more nice. giveaways. If you go to Liquid Plus, these are the giveaways that we did for just participating in the experience. Liquid Plus has a bunch of other experiences with other players and uh, streamers, so definitely check it out. That's what this was all about, just like a fun promotion uh, for Liquid Plus. So I hope you guys had fun if you were watching. I hope you had fun if you were playing.